for example, do not allow any restaurant staff to do any remedy. I will tell you, we will be disaster. You know, the waiter and the waitress, I'll tell you, manager will run out and they will say, oh, let me help you. And then if they bring your bed to the kitchen, oh. they game over. Please don't ever let them bring it into the kitchen. They will use whatever towel of your love in the kitchen. They will start to wipe. It happens to me before, so be careful about it. So when it is wet, drain it out. If it's a clean water, drain it out. And then you have a blow dryer. And home, every lady is using a blow dryer. Put it into two modes and then use a gentle a blow to let it dry gently. So it will take, although it takes time, it will start to dry nicely. But at the same time, what you need to do, if the bag is a small or if it happens to be wallet, if you dry without putting any cardboard or any stuffing wrap, it will shrink. That's the nature of the leather. So a lot of customers, they drop their wallet into the toilet bowl. Gentlemen, ever happened before or not? I have certain cases. Because I brought the beautiful product, the men's wallet, but it's totally soaked. So I said, I need to know what is this, right? Is it urine or anything else? Just tell me, you know. Then the men being honest, I'm so sorry, Jemma. I probably told you all your fault. Literally mix it with the urine and something, you know. So for that, you need to put some cover, like the credit cards or some of the name cards that you are not using it. Try to keep it up before you start drying it. So that at least you will minimize the shrinking. So if it's a handbag, try to put some stuffings, but do not ever put kind of a, uh, you know, the soft toys. Mm -hmm. That's a really bad idea. If you put a soft toy or pillow, a lot of people do that. They create a, a lot of fungus. You are inviting a fungus in already. So do not put a, a soft toys or pillow or full of cloth. It's not a good idea. You need to create a space within the lining. So what you do, uh, you know the newspaper? Squash the newspaper, use a white dressing paper to roll it. Create a lot of space and then make it like kind of kilo and uh, stuff it in it. It sounds cheap but I tell you this is the best because the newspaper absorbs a lot of moisture very well. At the same time, it reduces the smell. You know those uh, unpleasant smell or kind of moldy smell also it absorbs it. So this is one way you have to do. Second one is um, when you got the chili stain, any kind of lipstick stain, or when you're traveling that you know you go through the x-ray, then you put your beautiful bag, then you got stain from there. It happens all the time. When you got a stain, do not use a baby wipe. Right? Baby wipe, you all have it, right? Wet towel. Because most of the wet towel it contains of the alcohol. So it does not do anything good to the leather. Right? So instead of that, uh, you know, I have this. I don't need to sell. It's up to you. I think in the market there are similar products available. This is a wipe. Uh, we don't put our colors, this is made in Italy, and it is a cleaner wipe and it's a protection wipe. Use a leather cleaner wipe, don't use a baby wipes. So what you do, you open up and then you just use a gel, because this is already soaked with a agent, you know, cleaning agent and moisturizing agent. So you can actually clean more than two to three bags with a one single wipe, actually that much, good enough. So use this to gently round the circular motion, try to attack that stain area. If the stain goes off, that is a perfect. But it does not seem to move because it is a stubborn or oil basis, then stop from there. Do not continue to do it. Some of the customers, they are genius, you know. It's working, it's coming out, it's coming out. So excited. One round, two round, three round. I'm so sorry, color is out. By the time your color is killed, you can come to me. And then your uh, damages will be more than double. You know, cleaning is only 70, but then if you rub too hard, then you have to pay at least two to three hundred dollars to bring back the color back to its place. So don't do it. So why this might be a good idea. Then there is a another one we call it protection. That is to minimize uh, what you call uh, cracking the leather. You need to do moisturizing. Do not just focus on your face. You know your face always put a moisturizer and all these many many steps, right? Bag also needs that. So please pay a little bit of attention. You don't have to buy expensive, you know. In the market, there are so many, but you just simply do not know what is good for your leather that's all. So find the water-based gentle moisturizer. Once in uh, three months, if you apply, it applies to men as well. Your shoes nowadays is no longer cheap. You know, those machine-made bata shoes or simple dress shoes is already too cheap. Nowadays, sports shoes is more expensive. It seems like Nike is two to three hundred dollars, Tiger Bread. It seems so simple, but getting more expensive. Really expensive masterpiece, right? Do not come with a standard of covering anymore. It's so natural, right? Now they're all using a natural leather. You cannot let your helper to touch your leather. You don't ever ask them to wear a polish. I will tell you, they will make the brown leather to black leather. You know, they cannot, they are not colorblind, but somehow black 
looks like uh, like that dark blue. They could apply wrong creams. This one, and then if you apply another wrong uh, lotions, it will spoil the whole beauty of the natural. Like, just be careful. So this is the one. Uh, or another last <coughs> option. Yes, when you keep the bag, the weather is too humid. Yeah. The monsoon season is coming for the more. Our humidity level here in Singapore is more than 70, 80, oh, which is very, very hot. And then it melts the, some of the leather bacteria. You know, enamel, patent, your favorite patent. It melts. Patent has been coated very thick, fully written uh, plastic that causes the extra shine. If the weather is too humid right there, yeah, it start to get sticky. You know, a lot of people think, why is it sticky? Yeah? Maybe is it dirty? It's not dirty. Dirty is your fingerprints and all, but actually it's melty. So you are not using it and keeping it itself already start to deteriorate the condition. So Satan is one. Secondly, you know the handle, every beautiful handbag handle, is been uh, treated with a wax, which literally means glue. You know to join the two letter pieces into one. A lot of glue is involved in the bag. But if you do not maintain well, this glue will start to melt. So if you should store your bag, you know, you open the wardrobe, a lot of ladies, they just keep buying, 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 they're using it and admire every day. They are washing every morning, you put all the bow down ones, you know, my beautiful this, this, and clothes. You cannot do that. Because even if you display, please keep a distance between the bag. If not, it will crash. So you will transfer the color, or even one bag's handle affects to the other, so it will leave a permanent dent mark or you will uh, get a glue stain, which is a permanent. You will damage the bag permanently. So, since you are living in Singapore, you got no choice. I mean, you can't go space, right? So, first, we'll make sure that when you uh, manage your bags in the wardrobe, just make sure that uh, ask your helper or yourself, keep uh, at least 5 cm distance, and then if you can keep your dust bag for each and every bag, that is the best. And then, remember your handle, long handle, Every handbag comes with a long handle, right? Whether you use it or not, it's a package thing anyway. Remove it, if you can remove it. Unbuckle it and roll it up nicely and put it at the back. Do not hang just like that. It will go out of shape is one thing. It will affect the other bags getting a stain. So this is one uh, last uh, tips that I can actually give it to you. There are so many interesting stories and tips that I have it. But it's time for you to ask me your questions. So that I'll be happy to answer your questions and then some of you might have some um, inquiries about the bags that you're carrying it or some issues that you ever have carried. So what is the best 